speaking of, if you've ever played golf, you've surely hit your ball into a water hazard. For you, it's a bummer. But your awful shot is actually a good thing for Sean Broderick. Jill Painter Lopez caught up with Sean at Journey at Pachanga, where he shows us how he makes a living diving for all those golf balls. So I, I don't really dive in the ocean very much. I, I've dove to get certified, and all I do is dive in the lakes now. I'm afraid of sharks. <laughs> I am terrified. I've been diving uh, golf balls for a long time, over 38 years. Started doing this in high school. And how does one get involved and, in that? Well, because I lived by Mile Square Park, and we'd always go over there and pick up balls and sell them to the golfers. And, and one day, you know, somebody asked us to go do one of their courses and get balls for them. and, and haven't really looked back. It's hard to believe it's been that long. That's a lot of errant golf balls that, that people are having to hit. It is a lot of errant balls. <laughs> yeah. You have to be consistent, show up and just go to work every day. And okay. that's really the whole thing. When you get in there, are you ever worried about the water or what you might find in there? I'd rather it be murky. <laughs> okay. Um, when it's clear, you, um, you can see the balls, but um, everybody else can, so they get them back. When ah. it's murky, it actually helps you a little bit. In order to do this, what else do you have to do? You have to put up with Really cold weather, really cold, to the point where every year I feel like, why am I even doing this? And then you get through the summertime where, why am I doing this? It's so <laughs> hot and yucky. But I have taken breaks where I've done other things. I've worked for movers, with construction, and I feel the same way every other job I have ever had. So I'd rather do this and other things. Certainly a beautiful office, right? It's I love being behind golf a desk. courses. I think they're beautiful. And yeah, mm -hmm. I've kind of just accepted this is the best option. Yeah, definitely. What do you use to do this? And, and is this mostly like scuba diving? It is scuba diving, and I use the Puka compressor. It's an oilless compressor, floats on the water, and uh, it saves me from having to go to a dive shop and having to fill tanks every day, really. What's a good day for you? How many balls will you get on a really good day? Well, I try to average 3,000 ball day. Wow. And what's your record day? At Ironwood 9. Uh, a friend of mine went there, like, I forgot the exact number. It was over 30,000 balls, though. So. Not in one day. No, me and him together just got there wow. in the morning and sat there all day. If I saw somebody in the water, I'd certainly want to know what that was all about. What kind of conversations is it like talking to golfers? Thing is, I don't know where I am underwater sometimes, and I have to actually, you know, put my head up to figure out where I am. I was getting out, and I had seaweed on me. I couldn't even see, so I was trying to pull it <laughs> off and stand it up. I stood up, and I mean, I must have looked like this sea monster or something. Medusa. But, yeah, and I, this lady just screamed like, what? And I'm trying to, no, don't worry, don't hit me. And it was, <laughs> um, that, not my best showing, but it, it wasn't intentional. Oh, great day. About 100 balls in about 10, 15 minutes. Have you ever gotten hit? A few times, yeah. I've had to go to the dentist and to make sure I had oh. teeth got smacked. And, but uh, I wasn't paying attention, so. I, I hear him you know, taking bets on 100 bucks if you can hit the diver. And it's like, you know, I, I just kind of laugh because they can't even hit the green, you know. 